I bet you recognize these sweetheart conversation hearts. They are certainly one of America's favorite candies and one of the best-selling Valentine's candies. And in my hand, I just happened to randomly pick out a handful, and not one of these repeats anything that's on any other. Miss you. Yes, dear. You are a 10. And my pet. Kiss me. Kiss me. Oh, no, there's only one kiss. Let's kiss. Oh, my gosh. Sure love. My love. Oh. So romantic. Since the turn of the 20th century, more than 250 billion sweethearts have rolled off the Necco production lines. Did you know that before World War I, sweethearts' conversation hearts were made in various shapes, such as postcards, watches, baseballs, and even horseshoes? And several years ago, we had the opportunity to visit the New England confectionery company called Necco to see how these sweethearts are made. Let's take a look at how this candy icon got started. Next to that special card and those beautiful roses, there's no better symbol of Valentine's Day than Little Candy Hearts, a true American classic. One company has been making them for generations, Necco. The New England Confectionery Company is located in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Not much has changed in this building over the last century. The vintage machinery still runs, churning out these Valentine treats. Walter Marshall has been in the candy business for nearly 50 years. The recipe basically is a Necco wafer. There are a few different uh, flavors in there, but it's still basically a Necco wafer, and the Necco wafer goes all the way back to 1847. It's been over 150 years since English immigrant Oliver Chase invented a device that cut lozenges. When he found it worked equally well as a candy press, the Necco wafer was born. In 1902, using the same wafer recipe, a new and soon-to-be perennial Valentine's Day favorite first appeared on candy counters around the country. If you're either 9 or 90, you grew up with these hearts. Nobody alive today can't remember growing up with these hearts. The recipe is as old as the company and has never been changed. First, sugar is pulverized and placed in a large mixer. Corn syrup, along with gelatin and dextrose, is then added. Color and flavoring bring the mixture to life. Within minutes, the candy is ready to be shaped. Batches weighing more than 500 pounds are pressed and then stamped with those familiar sentimental phrases. We have over 100 sayings. The originals go back to the turn of the century, like be mine, my man, sweet talk, marry me. Those go all the way back, and we'll never change those types. But we just put a new little twist to it each year. I have eight grandchildren. I got a lot of good sayings from them. But sayings come from all over. After taking shape, the candies take a ride. Behind these doors, thousands of little sweethearts are dried. During the season, Necco produces over 100,000 pounds of hearts each day. Six colors and flavors are mixed and prepared for packaging. There's orange, lemon, banana, grape, cherry, and wintergreen, all combined to create the sweetest Valentines for that special someone. It's so basic, so good, remembering uh, when you were a youngster, and the basis for the popularity is they come out once a year. Between January 1st and Valentine's Day, they're out there, six-week period. After that, they're gone. You don't see them anymore until the next year. And I think that's why they're so popular. And the people just love them. 